Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Welcome to part 5 of the ephemera making for junk journals. So here is a junk journal that I purchased from my, for myself um, about a month ago or so. And it's from, I will link this shop down below if you wanted to have a look. Chrissy and Maggie's junk journals and more. Okay, so when I received the journal, this is what actually gave me an idea for this video. When I received the journal, uh, this came with it. So it's just little fabric scrappies put together on a little bit of a uh, piece of card and they can uh, actually be removed and used in journals. So as you will notice also there's one of them on the cover here and throughout the journal as well. So here's one here. They look very effective in journals. I really like them as embellishments and things like that. So when I received this, I was so inspired. I actually did make these beforehand, but I, I made them with brads. I never made them with buttons. And when I received the journal, I was so inspired to go and make some to use up my fabric scrappies. And I made a whole box full of them. And I would do it in front of the TV. And they just look so beautiful and it's always really nice to have them on hand if I need to embellish an envelope or um, send with my purchase you know when I'm sending out orders and things like that uh, inside journals and covers and etc etc I made god knows how many there might be a hundred in this box <laughs> so um, it's pretty self-explanatory basically it's just scraps of fabric and uh, most of us have a box full of scraps of fabric and then you just place them together so what i thought i might do today is i'll do a few on camera i might speed up the process a little bit i'll just go through uh, my sort of formula not that there is a formula but just the way that i do it so i think we should get started Okay, so I've just got a couple out here as an example. So the way that I do it is I have my base uh, piece of fabric and then I layer different sort of shapes on top. I include different upholstery fabrics and then also things like uh, things that will make it all look sort of tidy and nice. So things like lace, for example, you'll see here I have some lace and I also have some of this kind of like sparkly lace so it brings it all kind of makes it pop I guess uh, this one here you'll also see this fabric here it's got a little bit of gold and then I've got this gold up here so and then here I've got some different laces and and a different colored buttons what we need I'll pop these away so this is my box of all of my fabrics this was out here but then I, uh, when I made those fabric scrappies, I sort of tidied my box. So the way that I do it is I will choose my fabric for the bottom, my first layer. And then I will choose my second layer. So it can be any type of different fabric. So things like, you know, whatever it may be, maybe a little bit of calico. And then I might choose some lace. Look how beautiful this is. I love this piece. Gorgeous. Uh, something like this. A little bit of lace. And then maybe something like this. Quite nice. Um, I might pull these out. I might need them. Maybe this one here. And then I have a little bit of a blingy thing for my final sort of top layer. So I'd pull, pull something like that out something like this maybe and even like ribbons this isn't a ribbon but uh, you know ribbon could be good as well to use little bits of fabric like this okay so now that I've pulled my all of my little bits and pieces out I usually do this in front of the TV so it's a mindless mindless activity and then I might just cut a few and they don't have to be you know straight shapes or anything like that can be different shapes depending on what you like and maybe I'll do one from this one 
and then I would just fray the edges. Okay, so I have my five pieces here. So these are my bottom layers. So now I want to layer more fabric on top, but I don't want to cover the bottom layer, obviously. And now I might be looking at, you know, what goes well. You know, so maybe I'll just, let's see. Start layering up some little bits. Fray them up as I'm going. So, you know, you might be looking at colors and maybe not. You don't have to sort of, they don't have to all match kind of thing. But if you have a general um, style of journal making, then you might want to keep that in mind. So, for example, if your journals are, you know, vintage style, then you would go with those types of colors or a shabby chic, you know, that kind of thing. Pretty self-explanatory, I know. Okay, so I've kind of layered up my fabrics. I was adding little bits and pieces there. So you want all of the layers to kind of be sticking out so we've got a little bit of the bottom layer and then a little bit of this and then this and then you know so you want them all to be visible here and there so you don't want them all to be the same size or covering up one another so once i've laid all of my layers down then i would go ahead and choose a button and button the button is what makes it what completes it so and otherwise i could I might also use a brad for some of them so for this one for example maybe something like that i don't want to overthink it too much so okay so they're all layered up and i'm feeling like this one here for example could do with a little bit of gold ribbon just to make it stand out a little bit more but I have uh, something else that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to add a brad instead of a button. So one thing you need to keep in mind is if you're going to be using these inside the journals, they might uh, you might need to look at your button and how thick it is because they might really bulk up and be quite uh, in the way when you're writing. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So for example, on this one here, I have layered... Uh, the most fabrics here and I've got less fabrics than here so this one is very very chunky so instead of using this button and adding that gold lace I'm just actually going to use a brad and I think the gold brad makes it all stand out even more so you want it's like a focal point the brad and the button is a focal point so I'm just going to do one with the brad and then we'll do I might do two with the brad and then we'll do the rest with the button. So I will poke a hole where, where I make sure that it's going through all of the layers of fabric and then add the brad. So this is very, very similar to, you know, it's been done before. So it's pr very similar to um, paper clusters and things like that. But we're just doing, doing it with fabric. And so then I look at my little piece and, you know, make sure that I'm happy with it. I'm not sure that I'm really liking this um, edge here, so I might just cut it and I might use these pinking shears. I think it will add, you know, it might add a nice little touch. So I think that looks really cute. And I'm going to finish these ones and then I'll show you how they look in a project or in a journal. All right. Um, so I'm just using a needle, like a thicker needle, and I'm using thick, this isn't a normal thread, it's just like a thicker piece of thread. And I just go through it once really, because I will be gluing this, oh, And then at the back, I just tie a knot. And there's that one. 
and I, I look at it as a complete piece. I want to see how it looks. Okay, so here are my finished five little uh, fabric scrappies. So let's have a look at some ideas on how you can use them. So let's go for the first and the most obvious in a junk journal. So I'll just randomly open the page. Maybe that's a little bit too much, but let's say decorating a page. Uh, you can have them as little tabs like that or you can even, I'm just seeing a paper clip here. You can glue it onto a paper clip so you can make altered paper clips. Um, you know, so just placing them in a journal. This is a little booklet, perhaps something like that. You know, uh, dressing up really anything. So inside a journal. All right, let's take the next example. So this is just a plain envelope and we're dressing up an envelope like that so we don't need to do much to the envelope and but imagine if you have already tea dyed the envelope and if you have ran it through your embossing machine and you have some patterns on there and then you add something like this so um, dressing up okay let's see the previous projects we've done in this ephemera making series so we have this one i don't know if you guys seen this um this little open flip down notepad thing so you know a look at that like it looks beautiful just adding a little fabric scrappy so we're getting rid of our fab fabric scrappies and making some beautiful things and then we can just go into our box of little fabric scrappies and just pull out things and embellish our journals and our ephemera so um, this could be like a little i don't know if you glue that on there and put it into a pocket this journaling spot um, let's have a look some tags so we've got a tag and if we ink the edges and then just add a little something up the top so maybe something like this and that completes the tag or if you're using um, if you've got one with the brad uh, in this case I would just instead of gluing it down I would open up my brad and then put it through the tag so that can be my tag top or turn it around this way perhaps and it dresses up the tag so um really we can just keep going with this all day long because basically you can use this on anything that you want really and um i really really like this idea uh, of having them on a little bit of cardstock so it's just glued down with some um, double-sided tape and I really it spoke to me I really liked it so even sending a little gift uh, like this to somebody or adding it in happy mail I think it's just really beautiful and I know uh, most of us have done this before but maybe you haven't done it in a while and this will inspire you to go into your box of scrap fabrics and get going and making some of these little beauties. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you like this little video and you feel inspired. And until next time, please stay well and I'll see you in my next video.